starting with breaking news out of North Knoxville tonight. A child found dead in a car parked at a grocery store. The discovery happening in the 3 o'clock hour at the Food City right along Clinton Highway. WAT6 on your side. Reporter Kirsty Crawford joining us again. She's been at the scene for the last hour. So, Kirsty, what can you tell us? Well, we haven't been able to get any updates from police within the last hour, but I will tell you uh, that it looks like they are towing the car in question where that child was found uh, dead inside. You can see there's still police officers surrounding that vehicle, but other than that, they have taken down the crime scene tape. The parking lot seems to be back open and will definitely be open once uh, this car leaves. But like you said, police were called here around 3 o'clock for reports of a child dead inside a vehicle and that is exactly what police found when they got here shortly after uh, now they aren't sure if the parents were actually shopping inside Food City when this happened. They said that they are still trying to figure that out. Uh, I personally did not see anyone being taken away uh, for being detained or being in handcuffs. It seems like the scene is pretty uh, obviously inactive right now, but I haven't seen anyone being taken away uh, in a police car. Now, we have spoken with some witnesses at the scene who at least came here when they saw police uh, cover that car with tarp, because they did have a blue tarp over that car at first. Uh, and they say that they tried to talk with the family. Uh, the family, of course, wouldn't tell them exactly what happened. But either way, she says that she feels horrible for the family and for that child. That child had to suffer. Either way, what happened, that child suffered. Whether it's smothered to death or a trauma happened where it got hit by a car, that child suffered. And, and that's what's sad. It's tragic. Now, police are still investigating this, and like I said, we haven't been able to get any updates since the last time we talked with uh, Knoxville Police Scott Erland. We will, of course, be trying to get any more information throughout the night that we can. And like I said, this scene looks to be opening up. For now, reporting live in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE6, on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you so much for that update there. It's a tragic story tonight, and we're going to keep everyone updated with new developments throughout the evening. Yeah, matter of fact, KPD spokesperson Scott Erland also pointing out during WAT 6 Your Side News at 4 that we're just a few days out from National Heat Stroke Prevention Day. As part of that day, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said that child hot car deaths reached a record number last year. We're talking 52 nationwide. In Tennessee, 27 children have died from vehicular heat stroke over just the last 20 years. And we posted advice from a doctor at Children's Hospital helping avoid this and other forms of heat stroke in children at WAT.com under the As Seen On section.